Hi, I'm Miles Trotter. I wonder if you're aware of how big a shadow you cast as a leader. By that I mean the impact on others of what you say, do, and reinforce, and don't say, do, or reinforce. I read a story about a CEO who applauded his employees for making extreme personal sacrifices, like selling the family dog so they could be at the office full time. Now what was this guy saying and reinforcing? Well, that it's not only okay to disrupt your family life for your employer's convenience, but it's going to be recognized and rewarded. And that's going to skew people towards heroic behavior that always ends in burnout and resentment. That CEO realized how large a shadow he casts when his employees <laughs> released a video of his comments from the town hall that went viral. And for his sake, I hope he learned his lesson. There's an article by Eleanor Hawkins in Axios describing several of these stories from tone-deaf business leaders. Have a read. It's very illuminating. In my experience, many leaders are completely unaware of the shadow they cast. You know, I've been in meetings where the boss simply expresses his displeasure at bad news with a raised eyebrow or, you know, a sigh of displeasure. And afterwards, people are scurrying away in a panic. You know, you don't have to order people to work themselves to death. You just need to make it clear through your body language that you're unhappy and that things had better change around here or there's going to be trouble. Now, that's not straight communication. It's manipulation, and it's just poor leadership. Now, I'm doing some work with the corporation trying to improve their safety performance. They're, they're really trying hard, right? And we suggested interviewing their own staff as well as their, their suppliers to find out where the problems lie, especially if there's unhelpful schedule pressure, which is always a precursor to safety problems. Now, only a small percentage of the corporation staff feel that they exert schedule pressure, right? The safety problems are all the fault of the suppliers. But guess what? The supplier staff almost universally said the biggest safety problem was schedule pressure from the client. Now, the corporation's managers were shocked. You know, oh, we don't pressure our suppliers, they exclaimed. But you know, the thing is, it doesn't matter what they think or believe. The reality for suppliers is that through emails, verbal, and nonverbal communication, the corporation is exerting all kinds of schedule pressure. And what's great is that these leaders recognize and accept the shadow they cast and they can have honest conversations and things will improve. You know, I've been in companies where I observe leaders tolerating high-performing stars who behave badly. And there's value statements on the wall saying, oh yes, respect, dignity, integrity, excellence. But leaders' failure to reinforce these values casts a big shadow in which resentment undermining behavior and quiet quitting festers amongst the staff, and that just leads to poor performance. I believe most leaders want to be aware of the shadow they cast, right? It's, it's there, and you just got to manage it. And that requires being straight communicators, not manipulators. And that requires intentional development and work to learn those skills. Now, I hope this has been helpful. And if you're interested to find more about how you can learn those skills, please let me know. Otherwise, see you next time.